Sometimes this roof up over my head starts getting me down, crowding me out. <laughs> you know what I'm talking it about? Get any I need to clear what my you're head, see head today. for the countryside. Take a little walk, oh. maybe take a little ride. Bullfrogs croaking, smallmouth jumping, wind blowing through That's the right. trees. All so let's in. throw a cooler in the truck. I know where I want to be. Or kicking back wet in the line Rain pours Sun shines But it's all good Cause I'm doing what I love With who I like I can find that peace of mind I'm looking for Outdoors Outdoors with Joey Mines Is brought to you in part by Wendy's Warehouser, Highlands Marina Resort, Mid-State RV Center, Coachman, AssassinatorBaits.com, and Retreat on West Point Lake. For the next half hour, join us outdoors with Joey Mines. But it's all good, cause we're doing what we love with who we like. We can find that peace of mind we're looking for <laughs> outdoors. Where'd it go? There's part of my trees. They're all in it. They're all in it. These little highlighted yellow. Look at that. Yep. Look at the fish. Look at the fish in There's there. There's some arches. Yeah, wait, look at all these little. That's, that those brush are pile. No, that's crappy right there. I guarantee you those are crappy right there. Yep. And it's so thick, it, it yep. made a fake bottom. It that's right. up to eight foot. That's right. They're, they're all in it. Excellent. All right. I bet we'll get a nibble here. <laughs> <laughs> those look like pretty good fish. See them lumps? And that, that, that brush pile, see, I'm, see how far away I am from the buoy? And I'll get going to black my screen out again. All right, let's go fishing. Let me put my trolling motor down. Here we go. All right, our fish are right there. If you watch my line, there it goes. There, if you look a little farther up, you can see that buoy. And those fish are about halfway to the boat. And my line, that yellow line, of which I, I promise you helps us, you're able to see that bite when he pops it, right there. And all right. we're doing is raising that, that jig about a foot up and letting it fall back That's down. Right. That's right. That's exactly correct. And they're hitting it. They're hammering these nuts. Yeah, these, yeah, these oh, there's jig. one. There, there he is. is. I got mine. I got mine. Okay. Another beautiful, beautiful fish. <laughs> yeah, I get as excited as a lot of you do at home watching fish being caught. We'll let that one go. On a, on a guided trip, uh, I get to watch a lot of people catch numbers of fish for the first time in their life. And uh, if you ever want to get turned on to fishing, uh, this is a great way to do it. You know, one, one problem with bass fishing, and I learned this years ago, bass fishing can be hard some days. You got a fish there, Robert? Yeah, Robert. there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> bass fishing can be hard. And uh, if you carry somebody crappy fishing, they're gonna get a bunch of bites. That's right. They're gonna catch a bunch of fish, and they're gonna have a great time. If you carry somebody bass fishing and they only catch one or two fish, and they don't have that great experience, they might not want to go back. So maybe the tip of the day is make sure whatever species you're after, especially when you're carrying young people, the fish are biting. Don't, uh, don't carry them on a day when it's bad and it's windy and I don't know if the fish are biting, don't do that. You'll, you'll turn them against fishing for years to come. So just a little tip there. Hello folks, welcome to Mid-State RV Center. I'm Lee Pickard and behind me I got a great unit I want to talk about a little bit. 
This is a Forest River Aviator. This unit got the 2011 best of show, best design, which is you can only get one of those in a year. And Forest River got it. This is a special unit, five inch sidewalls, technology that you can control with your smartphone. You really need to come see it. I want to talk about a couple of the features of this coach. And one of the things that impressed me when this was in the design stages, they were bringing it out, is they wanted to do something different. Forest River wanted to do something different within the industry. And I'm going to show you something different right here. This is a five inch sidewall with an aluminum frame. And you're not going to find a coach out there it's got this type of sidewall in it. The structural integrity is just amazing. Uh, this is a certified green coach, which means all the products in here are either recyclable or have been proven recyclable. Folks, it's what Forest River, the type of company they are, they want to make sure they're producing products that are environmental friendly and great value to you. <clears throat> the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the towability of this product. If you look at the front cap, the rear cap, just the design, this is one of the greatest towing products that you'll ever come across in a, in a travel trailer. Folks, you need to come down here, test drive one, test tow one, you will be so impressed. It's available only at Mid-State RV Center. All right, here we go. We got the buoy beside us. The amazing part about this, most of us when we fish, we just Look beat here. the banks. Look at that. And there's so many fish behind us. There's one. Out over the mid lake. That's a pretty crappy. Yep. Another West Point crappy. Got a little breeze starting to blow, which is not a problem. All right, I'm right where he lives, right there. There he is. There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> We in them, we own them. <laughs> that's a nice fish, Joy. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a pretty fish for supper, sure. Yeah. Look at there. Another healthy fish. We'll let him swim. See you, buddy. Will pretty. they actually spawn over this deep water? Absolutely, too? yes. They'll lay on their they'll lay on the limbs, is what I'm told. And um, but I think I think most of these fish have spawned out. You you should be all over it right there. See how we jigging straight now? Yeah, that's a nice one. Ooh, wait. Yeah, that's a nice fish. There you go, Robert. That's a nice one. One of my love friends. Look at there. Beautiful fish. Man, get him up here. That's one of the pretty white light West Point crappy. Yep. And this fish still has eggs. Okay. So he's yep. laying he's yep. laying on the tree. Nice fish. Yep, they are in my trees today. <laughs> yes. Only thing this fish is missing is the hush puppies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll take him. We'll take him on a little boat ride. Golly. Let's see if I can get another little nibble. Just popping it, popping it. This is another one of those. One thing I've learned about building brush piles, and another little tip. There's one. There's one. Nice yeah, fish. Yeah, sure. this is another big one. Yep, another big nice one. Nice fish. Nice, pretty one. One tip about brush piles is uh, I honestly don't know if it's better to build them on a point, build them in the creek channel, build them uh, in the middle of the lake. The, the one thing that I can tell you for sure is when you're building the brush pile, try and build it to where you're out of the wind because a lot of days you won't be able to fish it if it's windy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him home with us. The other thing is don't build it where there's a lot of blowdowns in the water, or a lot of trees because you're, you're, the, the fish will get scattered. Other little tip, don't put four or five brush piles in a cove. Build one. So if they're biting, they're in that one brush pile. And Another tip, Joy, there's a fish. Another <laughs> tip is uh, when your lake is down, don't put your brush piles where everybody can see your that's brush right. piles when we have a drawdown. That's right. Another nice, that's a black oh, crappie. Woo. These are nice fish. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell the folks what we've got. Folks, this is it. This is a five arm crappie umbrella rig. And you, you see I've got five 32nd ounce jigs. I've got my uh, triple ripple type curly tails on there. I've tipped a couple of them with minnows, and we may go five minnows, we may go two minnows, but, but we can change colors. We're going to troll this over 15 foot of water today, and you'll see some big old crappie caught on it. Okay. Well, basically, we're going to troll behind the boat, 
Now you're gonna you're gonna ease it out, right? Just, just drop it out. Just yep. drop it out. Okay, I'm dropping it out. Let it go down about how far? Let just let out enough line where we're not on the bottom. So okay. that's probably far enough. Okay. There's enough weight to keep this thing down. Okay. All right, we're gonna troll four rods. I've got I'm gonna put the, the short one right there, and I've got another one rigged up right here. This one, this one we'll put out. I'm gonna drop this one on the side. It's a nine foot rod. There's, there's a fish already. Look at there. Look at there. There, there, we, go. there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. Good gracious. Is that a good one, Joey? Yeah. 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 He Another was a, nice fish. He was actually in the tree for a second. So here we go. This is. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> Crappy umbrella rig. <laughs> that didn't take long. I didn't even get the other rod out. That was uh, that was quick enough. He hit the one without the without the minnow on it too. Okay. Isn't that a pretty fish? Umbrella rig time. Now, was that the minnow? Would you he, have a he minnow hit on without that? the minnow, just black and chartreuse. Uh, okay. Crappy jig. That's great, man. That's great. A lot of times when I get a fish on, I'll just leave it out there and I'll just catch another one, catch okay. two at a time. I'm going to put a minnow on this rig. Okay. Now, one thing a lot of people have asked me, uh, we went, folks, we went to an outdoor show back in February and I think you were with me on the show. Yes. And I have, you've got like three different colors or four different colors that you use on the jig head. And I'm, I'm gonna show you what we're talking about there. I'm gonna go ahead and bring one in. Um, if you look at this head right here, that's a chartreuse head. I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a little tidbit. They're not hitting this right here. They're hitting these down here. I don't think it matters what color. We've got white, chartreuse, and I think you've got a red one and a black one. Joy, the first <laughs> prototypes I made, I made just lead heads. And we caught so many crappy and, and, and lead, lead's not appealing to people in the store. We go, we go with chartreuse, white, a red, and a black. And they all sell well. And some customers prefer the chartreuse or white or any color. So just color really doesn't matter when you pick them. I suggest buy all four of them. Yep, yep, yep. Well, one thing about trolling, let's, let's talk about uh, the speed that you troll, Robert. And, and this is one of the big keys in catching fish. OK, if we look at our GPS, we're going 0.8. Yep. Crappy can't resist that. That's key. So we want to troll about 0.8. Okay. Now, if you, you can actually go faster, and it's not a problem. If you not go, a problem. If you go slower, it uh, it probably sinks a little too much, and it, it doesn't have the action that you've got right there. Boy, isn't that some action there? Man. Okay. This is basic techniques today. Now, one thing uh, that I'd like to talk about is you can troll this with minnows and just put, like, a crappy hook on here. Exactly, yep. And... Uh, you can also drop it straight down in a brush pile if you're or fishing a ledge. If you know the fish are down, you can actually drop it straight down and uh, catch them that way as well. Let me show you a couple tips, guys. When you're trolling this over shallow water, use a large cork. This is a number three, and put this cork on the rig. And I've got it got it set, you know, three foot, four foot deep. I can go to the backs of the coves when they're on bed, and lordy, lordy, they'll load up two and three at a time. Another little tip, this crappy umbrella is a little bit larger than anything you've ever fished. It, it, it fans out, so if I want to secure that and stow it in the boat, cut off a piece of PVC that's three quarter, I can that. slide that over, put it in my tackle box, I'm good to go. Oh Here. Lord, Joel, you got... I think I got two. <laughs> Is that two? <laughs> yeah. All right, absolutely. Two Look nice crappy. Yes. <laughs> no, nah, that that's ain't. That's it. That's nice. <laughs> Joey, notice one thing. Typically, we get more hits on the center hook. And this one, we have one hit the center and one hit the outside. They look like twins. Back a couple of weeks ago, I actually caught three on one rig. On one rig. On one rig. Uh, I was casting on the shore. I'm going to give you this to go put okay. in the light. We're going to take these home okay. with us. And I've caught three at one time. And uh, the cove and the, the little shallow area was slapped full of them. Where's it at? It's up front. Okay. Yep, we've got a, got a place up front. I'm watching these other rods. Okay. Now this one, uh, I had a, I had two, I actually had two minnows. And the two that had the minnows is what they ate. I had two minnows on this one. 
Where about at up there? front? Here, under the seat? Yeah, right there. Okay. Right there. There we go. You want some right. minutes? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I want two minutes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, I do. I'm going to let you rig the money and show the folks how we do that. And uh, Yeah, I think all of this is important to catching fish. Now, you make a bass rig as well, is that correct? Yes, and we just put swim baits on the bass rig. It has an eight, eight inch arm. These are four and a half inch arms. It's a small rig, it's compact. And I always try to load the center hook with a, with a minnow. Okay. They love that center hook, and I don't know why. Maybe because it sticks okay. out about an inch okay. longer. All right, here we go. I'm up. A... You only catch three at a time. <laughs> let me let her out, and uh, that's exciting. When is the time of year that's best for catching them with this kind of rig? Is there a, a special time, so to speak? Well, we, we've caught them in the wintertime. On Lake Sinclair, we have a warm water discharge, and we just troll over 15 to 20 foot of water. So I, I'm thinking all year. This thing is so new, we don't know. Okay. We, don't, we haven't been through a full year. Okay. Um, spring's been great, especially under a cork when they're on bed. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can pull in a cove and go down to just one rod. It's all you can handle. Now, as far as brim fishing, uh, I think we're gonna try and catch some brim on it later on this summer. Can you imagine throwing in a brim bed, something oh like Lord. this? Uh, Rooster tails, a beetle spin, uh, just throw it out there. The, the brim will follow bait anyway. They just right. love following stuff. They'll follow bass lure all the way back to the boat. Well, we've got a great day to catch fish. Um, this is just another technique. Uh, the show that we did earlier last week we, we caught them on the brush piles, we caught them on the docks, we caught them on a blowdown that was actually uh, just right off of the, the, the shoreline. Today, it is the same day. So we've caught fish this morning, and it's, it's actually only about 10 o'clock. Right, right 10 o'clock, and we're just having a ball. Yeah, it's, uh, this is three different patterns, and uh, anybody that wants to catch a lot of fish, water temperature today, 70 degrees, I think that's important. Uh, when you're trolling this, 0.8 to 0.9, somewhere in there. Speed's critical. Uh, 0.8 will make that those five jigs swim in tandem. Okay. And uh, another thing, when that thing gets a hit, don't jerk it. Just just reel it in slow because you're going to catch a lot of times more than one fish. Just okay. just keep reeling it. Keep the same cadence, and uh, that's how you trigger that second bite. Okay. Fish swim together. He's never alone. Never. Okay. So they're always in school. So. If you get one, you got a real good chance with this rig picking up two. One thing for sure, anybody that wants to keep up with what's going on with the TV show or possibly my guide service, please like me on Facebook. It's Outdoors with Joey Mines on Facebook. When you like me, you've got a chance to win a free fishing trip. We're going to be giving away a guided fishing trip pretty much similar to what you're seeing right here to one of you lucky viewers out there. So we've got that going on. If you're interested in some of these products, uh, this is going to be a big item. Uh, they're, they're selling pretty hot right now for you. I it's, know. it's the hottest thing going. I've, I've got customers all over the southeast and up north that are buying them. And, and uh, it's, it's, Thumpbaits.com is where I sell them. And I've got local stores around all these lakes in Georgia have got them. And uh, they're selling out. Okay. They're just, people are catching, catching a lot of fish. Well, it's a great lure, great technique. Folks, y'all stay with us. We'll be right back. There you go. That's a nice fish. That's a nice one. That's a oh, good yeah. one. There you go. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. That's a good one. There we go. There we Get go. Him. We got two on. Got a double? Yep, yep, yep. There he is. That's one. One good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, these are nice fish. That's a, too, nice, that's a nice black crappie. Woo! He hit, he hit the outside jig, the black and chartreuse. But I don't think that matters. And, I've, and he hit the minnow. There we go. Is that a good one, Joey? Yeah, I, I, he was in the tree. I actually was hung in the tree and I started shaking it and he, he pretty good fish. Yeah, he's pulling good. good. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. <laughs> hey, he hit the middle one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hit the middle one. He even actually bent, when I got hung in the tree, I think it bent my wire a little bit. The center, center wire is bent. Of course, you can just do that right there and it's straight again. How about that, folks? The crappy umbrella rig. All right. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Robert, uh, umbrella rig, we started this morning fishing brush tops. Uh, 
And that was actually a show that's probably a lot of you have saw last week. This is part two of that show. One important little tip is the line itself. Absolutely. We, we need to talk about that. We're using braided line. Now on our crappy jigs, just like the ones that you use, it's a wire hook and we're able to pull this rig back and we're fishing over trees in 15 foot of water. Using that braided line, we're, we're getting every one of these rigs back. Plus when we get big fish on, we can just reel them in. Boy, neat new technique. Uh, we're gonna be using this catching brim a little later on this summer. The bass one uh, speaks for itself. Can you imagine throwing this in a school of bass or possibly white bass or stripers when oh, they're up Lord. on top? And, and, and that's the thing about this is we're trolling this and we'll have stripers hit it, spotted bass, largemouth, and the main, main thing is the crappies, sometimes two at a time. Yep, it's, it's been a great day. Uh, we've caught a lot of fish on West Point Lake. Anybody that's interested in a guided fishing trip, well, I've actually been doing this for a number of years, and uh, I pretty much have got them figured out where they can go You've catch got them. the trees, Joy, and that's key on this lake. It's, it's off-structured trees that nobody can find but you. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's the key. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed seeing us catch crappy by the buckets full. For Robert Dees, I'm Joey Mines. Y'all have some good hunting and good fishing. I'll see you next week.